Hello and welcome to A Homespun House. My name is Molly and I am the maker behind A Homespun House and I'm looking forward to spending a little bit of my time chatting with you guys today about all of the things that I have been up to and making in the last couple of weeks. So for this podcast, I wanted to kick it off with some very, very exciting and life-changing news. My family and I will be moving to America this summer. The sooner that it gets, the more excited that we get. The reason why we're moving to America is because that's where my family is. I am very, very close with my family and Robert's family isn't as close as as I am with mine. And um, it's just very, very different. I love living in Germany and we will be very sad to leave Germany. Um, it is, I think, the most wonderful place in the world. Um, if my family was here, I would never, ever choose to leave. We would never choose to leave, but we really miss having family around. Both of my parents grew up in really large families and uh, it's just different the way that my family um, cares about each other. So. It's going to be a hard move, but it's going to be fantastic. So we're moving this summer, just to let you guys know, because it's, you know, a really huge part of our life that will be changing. And um, for those of you who watch and who are interested, so I have been knitting a bit this, these past two weeks, having a lot of fun knitting. Um, and I have two finished objects, which are very exciting. So um, last time I was working on a Kabuk hat by Caitlin Hunter and I finished it. So I knit this out of three strands of yarn. If you're a bird, I'm a bird, sand castles, and then I put a strand of mohair in there, silk mohair, it's kid silk, kid mohair and then silk. And it is so soft and kushalish, and it's just really fantastic. So it has a bit of twisted stitches. It has these gorgeous baubles, which I really adore and love. There's another pattern by Caitlin Hunter. It's a, a, um, a pullover pattern, and I have purchased that one and plan on knitting it at some point, but it has baubles all over I think the the yoke and the body for the most part of the sweater. I'm not sure, I can't remember, but it's really beautiful. So anyway, I knit the medium sized hat. It fits pretty well. Um, it's a little bit loose, but I still can wear it. It's not like hanging off of my head. Uh, just the stitch count for the medium hat is a little bit too many for, for my head. So then Elodie loved this hat so much as I was knitting it. And so I decided to cast on the child version. <laughs> I smile and laugh a little because I feel like the child version should have been titled toddler version, if that. This does not look like it fits a child. Like for me, when I think of a child, I think, because usually patterns are baby, toddler, child, teen, is generally I, how, how they are categorized. And so for me, child, I guess I would have thought like a four. I don't even know. I guess I wish it would have been more specific. So the stitch count for this was okay. Um, probably would have fit Elodie, but the, it almost doesn't even fit Ruby. It's a very, very tight, almost like ski fitting swimming cap <laughs> on Ruby. I feel like the length of the hat is way too short. It, when Elodie puts it on, it goes quite a bit above her ears. So I'm really, really bummed about this. I, Elodie was so excited about it. She picked out the yarns. She picked out a new colorway of ours called Peacefully. And I doubled that on fingering weight yarn and then used again our Fresh Sheets colorway in the Kid Mohair Silk. And um, I love the way it looks. 
it's just really small. I feel like this would probably fit a two-year-old. Ruby's two, but Ruby is very tall for two-year-old. Um, but I feel like a normal, normal-sized two-year-old, this would probably fit. Um, it's just so small, and Elodie was really looking forward to it. And while I enjoyed knitting it, just all of this sort of cabling, um, it kind of started to hurt my hands. So I believe that this was knit on a 3.5 and a four millimeter needle. I got perfect gauge and um, yeah, I use the same needle size and everything. Just for me personally, this is probably 10 stitches too many. However, I could not omit 10 stitches. It would have completely ruined the pattern. And I guess she had to keep it at that number for the pattern. I should have read pattern notes, to be honest, but I didn't. I just saw the pattern, loved it, and cast it on. Um, but it's not that huge, really. I'm, I'm over-exaggerating a little. This is not an exaggeration. It is very small for a child over two. However, it's, it's gorgeous. So I guess I need to find a two-year-old to gift this to because we will not be having any more children. Just to point that out there, two is perfect for us. We love our family of four. It's, it's wonderful. So these are my two Kobu cats. And since I have knit this, I have indeed been wearing it. And I could see knitting this as a gift for a couple of people. It, it's really, really a pretty knit. So those were a lot of fun. Some other things that I have been working on are two pairs of socks and um, I am knitting on my Deathly Hallows sock kit. And this comes with a skein of the Elder Wand, which I used for both of my cuffs. I guess I should probably grab the finished one. So the Elder Wand, which I used for both of my cuffs, as you can see. And then the body of my sock is the Invisibility Cloak, the Cloak of Invisibility, sorry. And then the feet, the, the toe and the heel are the Resurrection Stone. And I love this so much. Just, it looks like a watercolor painting to me. It's so pretty. And in last podcast, I mentioned that I would have the sock sets or shawl sets, whatever you want to use these for. It's a 100 gram skein of Invisibility Cloak and then two 20 gram skeins of the Elder Wand and the Resurrection Stone. And um, you could use it for a shawl. You could uh, use our Fresh Sheets colorway or Ash. Um, you could, with Fresh Sheets is a creamy white colorway. Ash is the colorway of, of my cardigan that I'm actually wearing right now. This is Hannah Fettig Featherweight. And I knit it out of a homespun house. Um, MCN yarns. Um, you could use Polly, which is a really beautiful red. You could use a lot of different colors. You could use um, Comfort, which is a tonal that I talk about really often. That would even look really pretty as a, a gorgeous pop of color. If you are wanting to add a tonal to this, feel free to, to email me um, if you're having a hard time deciding. Uh, Chocolate Fondue, which is a really pretty uh, brown. There are so many gorgeous colors you could put with this because the foot, I swear, has almost every color imaginable in a jewel toned color. So I do have the first one finished and in my gorgeous little bobbins uh, DPN cozy, I have the second one. I have the heel done, which is so exciting. So the cuff, the leg, the heel. I've been doing a heel flap lately. Um, just really enjoying it. I used to do the fish lips kiss heel quite a lot and I like the way the heel flap looks better. I just feel like it's a much prettier, classic looking heel. And it fits my husband a lot better. I don't exactly know how well it fits me. I have knit um, heel flaps and gussets in the past, but most of the socks that I wear right now are fish lips kiss heel and those just kind of pop onto my heel. So. Um, I am knitting these socks, not for myself, but for a trunk show sa sample because I plan on having lots and lots of fun trunk shows in my future once we're in America. 
um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. So this will be a trunk show sample. Oh, I, I wanted to start saying that last week I talked about having sock kits. Um, I did not get around to putting those up in the shop. They have been dyed for ages. Those will definitely be listed to the shop tomorrow on Monday. So look for those. If there's something that you're wanting to get, they will be available on Plump Merino, which is an 80-20. Uh, soft sock, which is a 75-25, and um, Stellina. So yarn with Stellina in it, a superwash merino and nylon. And um, those will not be dyed or put up for sale again in, until um, next fall. I will be having quite a big gap of time, probably two months, where there will be no yarn in the shop, and that will be after we move to America just as a heads up. So um, yeah, look for those on Monday. I know a lot of people have been wanting to get one. So I've been seeing a lot of them pop up on my Instagram feed with that hashtag, a homespun house, which is so much fun to see. So um, yeah, and some of these will be having um, chocolate frog progress keepers in them. I have a handful of them. I think 10 um, of these sock sets will have chocolate frog progress keepers if you want to get them. So yeah, I've just finished knitting the gusset stitches and now I'm just onto my normal stockinette knitting, which is perfect for my nap, night to nap time knitting. And I am using Knit Pro Carbons for these, which I really like. I mentioned last time that I have started this complete love affair with Haya Haya Sharps. I will be knitting all of my projects on Haya Haya Sharps probably. I don't know about DPNs. I have a set currently. I have not knit anything on them, but I'm really looking forward to using them. The next pair of socks that I am knitting on are the socks that I'm knitting for Robert. These socks, every time I look at them, I am just, they are so huge. You guys have seen me knit socks for Robert before, but this is definitely the biggest pair I have ever knit for him. I have these again in another Little Bobbins DPN cozy. And I'm, I'm enjoying knitting these. They're just so big. I mean, look at this. This is longer than my head. This is as long as my hand to my elbow. I told you guys, he requested a really, really long leg and he got it. <laughs> So um, for those of you who don't know, Robert is 6'5", six, 6'5 five, six, five and a half. I always seem to forget. He's one of the two. And um, he's tall, he has big feet, and he wants long and long socks. <laughs> long and long socks. So I am knitting these out of, the cuff is our Woods colorway. The leg is Frida. And the heel and cuff will be out of the same yarn. And so now I have finished again my heel flap. I finished the gusset as well, which is very exciting um, because Robert and I alternate bringing the girls to bed every other evening. And um, socks are just my nap time knitting. So uh, this is just the first one. I have not knit the second one. I am hoping hoping that I do not finish this sock, knit the second sock down to the toe, and not have enough of the Frida colorway. Um, yeah, so it's making me wonder if I should knit the, the toe halfway, or the foot rather, halfway, and then start from the outside of my cake and literally knit the second sock so that I can stop exactly where I have no yarn left and both of the toes are pretty much, both of the feet are pretty much the same length. Because I feel like it would be a bummer to not have them match, to have one have this really thick toe in this contrasting colorway and the other one to be, you know, a standard sock with a contrasting heel and toe, like my Deathly Hallows sock that I'm knitting. That's how I do a lot of mine. Lately, I think on all of the socks that I have been knitting, I have been doing a contrasting cuff, heel, and toe, which is fun. Um, you just have a lot of ends to weave in. And on here, I have a Simply Serving Voldemort Progress Keeper. 
It's just because Voldemort reminds me of Robert. <laughs> so I'm enjoying knitting these. Um, I just know that they won't be finished for quite a while. I'm excited to finish a pair of these socks and I think that the first pair that I finish will definitely be the Deathly Hello sock because I desperately want to cast on Danny George's sock pattern that she put out in December of 2017 called Twas the Night Before Christmas. It just has the most gorgeous fir tree going down the side and I love them. They will be knit for my grandma. So speaking of my grandma, she has knit pretty much everyone in our family and uh, many, many others stockings for Christmas. I know you're all thinking Christmas, it's uh, March, but she does not have a stocking and um, Ruby doesn't have a stocking either. So I was talking to my grandma on the phone um, a while ago and we were talking about this and I said, oh my goodness, we need to remedy that. Uh, I will knit you a stocking. So uh, earlier this week, I dyed up my yarns for her stocking and I will be using fresh sheets, which I don't have to show you. It's that creamy white that I was talking about, Polly and Juniper. So I am really excited to knit a stocking for her. Um, this will definitely be something that is cast on my needles soon. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm so curious to see which stocking and design she comes up, up with for Ruby. Pretty much all of the stockings that we have from her have gorgeous color work on them. I've had the same stocking from her since I was a little girl until now. My sister and I have matching ones and uh, I love them. So this is knit out of, or this will be knit out of a homespun house, um, 7525 DK superwash merino and 25% nylon. And I think these colorways are so rich. My grandma definitely goes for more of a cold toned red. So not that orange tone she likes more of a green, or I'm sorry, more of a blue toned red. So that's why I chose Polly for that. I spoke to you guys quite a, quite a few times about my chunky cardigan that I'm in love with. I wear it all the time and I wanted to design a pattern based upon that. So I have completely written the pattern up. Um, it's finished. I can't wait to wear it. I think this is going to be the most amazing thing ever. I am knitting this out of homespun house yarn, super jumbo chunky yarn. It is 50 meters per 100 grams. It's 50% Highland wool and 50% baby alpaca. It's a single ply yarn. And I am knitting this out of Fresh Sheets colorway. And I'm also stranding it with our Kid Mohair Silk. It's a 70% Kid Mohair, 30% Silk, and it's just giving it the nicest halo. The alpaca in the singles just gives it a nice halo anyway, but because I love um, Kid Mohair Silk so much, uh, I kind of want to strand it with everything. I have put out a call on Instagram. I just did it on my stories very quickly, so for 24 hours, calling testers for that. I'm going to require that my testers use a homespun house yarn. You will need 13 skeins of the super jumbo um, yarn, but I am giving my test knitters 25% off. I am really looking forward to seeing which colorways uh, my test knitters use. I will be knitting a second one in a homespun house comfort colorway, which as you know, is my favorite. I haven't knit anything out of it yet, but I am pretty much dying to knit something out of it. If any of you are interested in test knitting the cardigan pattern for me, just know that you need 13 skeins of a homespun house yarn. You can contact me over at homespunhouse.com. There's a little contact tab and you can just send me an email through there letting me know that you're interested. Um, you will get 25% off of your 13 skeins. Um, and also you can use the mohair if you want. I'm not requiring that you need that for the test knit. You will need two extra skeins of mohair 
if you want that for your cardigan. It is very, very large and oversized. I am just doing one size because it is so big. Um, I am imagining that it will probably fit up to a size 50 European is my guess. As I mentioned, I'm a size 36 and um, it's pretty big on me. It's been so much fun to work on that. I just can't wait to wear it. Um, it's really getting cold. We had some crazy warm days. One day it was 18 degrees here on Sunday. Last Sunday we were at Robert's parents, which is why I did not podcast last week. And now it's getting colder, but soon the weather will be here where I will definitely be able to just go outside in my cardigan and not even need a jacket. The last thing that I have been working on and really, really working on and loving is my granny stripe blanket. It has been ages since I worked on this, but I have really, really been working on it. I have added many minis to my blanket. Let me find my progress keeper. So this is where it was last time I showed it to you, all the way down at this sweet little teacup. And this is how far I have crocheted on it. You can see here it starts to just get a little bit more spring-like. This is a very long blanket. I can just give you guys a quick glimpse as to how long it is. Very long, very, very long. And this is how much I have crocheted on it. So much that I don't even think I can gather it anymore. But yeah, so it's a really, really fun one to work on. Um, very mindless. I guess it's just been really cold in the evenings. We uh, heat up our house by a wooden stove. Um, we could heat it up otherwise, but we like to use the wooden stove when we want to heat it up. And we don't have that much wood left. <laughs> And we don't want to um, buy any more wood because we're moving. So what are we going to do with heaps and heaps of wood? So we probably have enough wood for maybe five more days. I know this is so interesting, right? <laughs> um, so I guess that's probably why I've been pulling out my granny stripe blanket because it's just so warm on my lap. And um, it's so beautiful. I feel like... I really, really love that blanket so much. I have just been really enjoying doing projects with minis. And I wanted to show you some little minis that we have in the shop. Um, I will have three Harry Potter sets in the shop. I have our Harry Potter signature colorways on Soft Sock, Plump Merino, and Gold Stellina. And then I have really only a handful more of the Seven Horcruxes sets on Soft Sock, Plump Merino, and Gold Stellina. There are not many of these left. These will not be dyed up again, again, until next fall. And then I will have the Deathly Hallows mini set, so you get three 20 gram minis in those three colorways that I did the sock for. Um, I have been dyeing up loads of spring colored littles. I do have in the shop a, um, a spot where you can purchase just assorted littles and I surprise you with different colors. I love when you guys add me a little note of what you would like those to look like. I do have a new line that I have added to the shop last week and that is the monochrome colorways. And we have those available in Peacefully. That is what I knit this hat in. This looks a little bit lighter because it does have that fresh sheets uh, mohair carried along with it. And because that's a creamy mohair, it really tones down the colorways. So this is Fresh Sheets on Soft Sock. I have Tuscan Sun on Soft Sock. These will be available on other bases. I just want to let you know that this is Soft Sock because I often have people asking and wanting it on exact bases that I show on the podcast. This is Cream Sicle on Soft Sock. I love this one. I think this with fresh sheets would make the most amazing um, Kobu cat or any hat. I have Tranquility. I'm showing all of these on Soft Sock except for 
blush because I have sold out of soft sock on that. This is Gold Stellina. Blush is one that I've always carried, but I feel like it goes really great with a monochrome line. So you will find blush under monochrome um, colorways. I have Masquerade Urban Garden. And then a new summertime colorway that I have coming to the shop is called Grandma's Favorite. And I will be putting up some sock sets with these later this week. This one will be as a single skein and then as a sock set. So grandma's favorite. And the reason for that is because my grandma, Sue, her favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. And I think this would just make such a fun pair of socks or even in a shawl, I think this would be so pretty. And then this new colorway, this is a whimsy colorway, but I will be calling it summer sunset. I had thought that I would make this a regular in the shop, but it's, it is completely too time intensive. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is on BFL. So it's 80% superwash BFL and 20% um, nylon. And I love it, but I really cannot see dyeing that one up again. And then I have two sock sets that are going up into the shop. I thought that these are really fun, springy, vibrant um, sock sets. This one's Pop Art with a 20 gram mini. And then here I have Color Run. Uh, I was inspired to dye up this colorway, I think it was two years ago, when Meg from Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits, she has a podcast and a yarn company as well. Um, she went on a color run with her husband, I think, and I thought, oh my goodness, that would make the most fun yarn. So it's one I think that I've been dyeing up for two years. And uh, I love it. I think it's so fantastic for anything. You could use this for a shawl, for a hat, for a baby sweater. Um, socks, of course. <clears throat> and speaking of Meg from Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits, she completely surprised me. <laughs> I received a parcel in the mail and Robert said, you have uh, something from Meg. And I said, oh no, hopefully her parcel isn't coming back because um, at a homespun house, we have to require that all parcels are signed for no matter where you live even if you're living in Germany. But sometimes people aren't home when their parcels are delivered and so they have to pick it up at the post office or at their pickup station. And um, so sometimes if people don't pick up their parcels in time, they will get sent back here um, to a homespun house. And so I thought that her final installation of Harry Potter was uh, being sent back, but it wasn't. It was a parcel from her and oh my God, Goodness, you guys, she sent me a little mandrake. This is made by Simply Serving. <sighs> Be still my beating heart because it is so sweet. I cannot wait to put this on a project. And then she sent me her Mandragora colorway, which is so fun. This is a kit that she uh, put out, I believe, last week. And then her Sprouts colorway. So this, of course, could be just like I said, a sock set, a hat, a shawl. Adorable. And then I was watching her podcast a little while ago and she had this pumpkin pasties colorway. And I commented and told her that I absolutely loved it. You guys can see that I'm really loving orange because I feel like this would make the most wonderful hat with a strand of mohair. I'm just totally imagining it and thinking it will be amazing. Just a plain ribbed cap, maybe a sock head hat. I really love this colorway. It's such a pretty tangerine, um, but peachy orange. It's so gorgeous and it's very soft. It feels quite cashmere like. Um, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And you guys really should go and check out her podcast. It's one that I adore. If you love Harry Potter, you love fandoms, you just like really nice, genuine people, <laughs> I think you'll like Meg because she's, she's so fantastic. The last thing that I want to mention is that Harry Potter yarn and charm clubs are still open, minus the charm. So that's a three month subscription and each month you get 100 gram skein of yarn. That's for April, May and June. April Yarn and Charm Clubs as well 
are still open and will be also closing around the same time as Harry Potter yarn clubs. It was wonderful chatting with you guys and I hope that you have a fantastic day and week ahead and I will see you soon.